Hey everyone! Welcome back to Teachers Free. If you're new here, we're all about providing free resources, guides, and tips to help teachers and students thrive. Today's video is all about the second periodical test for Mathematics Grade 4. We'll go over each question, discuss the answers, and walk through solutions to help you understand the concepts better. Whether you're a teacher preparing for the next test, or a student wanting a bit more clarity, this is the place for you. So grab your pens, get comfortable, and let's dive in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you won't miss out on any of our future study guides and test prep videos. Ready? Let's get started. Question 1. Mr. Fontaniller harvested 123 sacks of rice from his farm. If he decides to multiply the total number of sacks by 7 to determine the final total to distribute, how many sacks of rice will they have to distribute? Choices. A. 861. B. 724. C. 756. D. 798. Discussion. Multiplying the 123 sacks by 7 gives us the final total for distribution. This multiplication helps us find the total quantity if each sack is distributed sevenfold. Solution. 123 times 7 is equal to 861. Answer. Hey, 861. Question 2. A local bakery in Manila produces 238 packs of pendesil daily. If each pack contains 15 pendesil, how many pendesil does the bakery produce in 7 days? Choices. Hey, 24,710. B. 25,060. C. 24,990. D. 23,940. By first finding the number of pendesil produced in a day, that is 238 packs times 15, and then multiplying by 7 days, we find the weekly production, which is a large quantity suited for a bakery's demand. Solution 238 times 15 times 7 is equal to 24,990. Answer C. 24,990. Question 3. A jeepney driver charges 18 pesos per ride. If he gives rides to 125 people in one day and works for six days, how much will he earn in total? Choices. A. 13,500 pesos. B. 12,600 pesos. C. 13,850 pesos. D. 12,850 pesos. Multiplying the fare by the number of passengers gives daily earnings. Then, by multiplying by 6 days, we get the driver's weekly income. Solution, 18 times 125 times 6 is equal to 13,500. Answer, hey, 13,500 pesos. Question 4. Mr. Fontanilla harvested 125 baskets of mangoes. Each basket contains 48 mangoes. Estimate the total number of mangoes Mr. Fontanilla harvested. Choices. A. 5,000. B. 6,000. C. 7,000. D. 8,000. Discussion. Multiplying the number of baskets by mangoes per basket gives an estimate. Rounding makes it simpler to estimate large quantities for practical use. Solution 125 times 48 is equal to 6,000, approximate. Answer B. 6,000. Question 5. A barangay project will plant 98 trees. If there are 52 barangays participating, estimate the total number of trees that will be planted in the community. Choices. A. 4,500. B. 5,000. C. 5,500. D. 6,000. Discussion. Estimations help simplify calculations. Here, rounding 98 to 100 gives an approximate but close answer. Solution. 98 times 52 is equal to 5,096. Estimate. Question 6. 
the municipality of San Pablo plans to distribute 285 notebooks to 36 public schools. Estimate how many notebooks in total will be distributed. Choices. A. 9,000. B. 10,000. C. 11,000. D. 12,000. Discussion. Multiplying the number of notebooks per school by the total schools gives the total quantity. Rounding here aids in practical distribution planning. Solution. 285 times 36 is equal to 10,260. Approximate. Answer. B. 10,000. Question 7. Mr. Fontaniller needs to deliver 15 sacks of rice. Each sack contains 45 kilograms of rice. If he sells each kilogram for 50 pesos, how much will he earn if he sold all 15 sacks? Choices. A. 33,750 pesos. B. 35,000 pesos. C. 30,500 pesos. D. 25,000 pesos. Discussion. First, finding the total weight in kilograms and then calculating the revenue per kilogram reveals the total potential earnings. Solution. 15 times 45 times 50 is equal to 33,750. Answer. Hey, 33,750 pesos. Question 8. A barangay received a donation of 8,400 pieces of canned goods to be equally distributed among 28 families. How many canned goods will each family receive? Choices. Hey, 200. B. 300. C. 400. D. 500. Discussion. Dividing the total donation by the number of families provides a per family quantity, ensuring fair distribution. Solution. 8,400 divided by 28 is equal to 300. Answer. B. 300. Question 9. A bakery can make 125 packs of pastries every day. Each pack contains 24 pieces of assorted pastries. If the bakery sells each pastry for 12 pesos, how much will the bakery earn in four days? Choices. A. 144,000 pesos. B. 115,200 pesos. C. 120,000 pesos. D. 130,000 pesos. Discussion. Calculating daily production, multiplying by four days, and then by the sale price gives the baker's projected earnings. Solution. 125 times 24 times 12 times 4 is equal to 144,000. Answer. Hey, 144,000 pesos. Question 10. Mr. Fontanilla is packing 3,125 mangoes equally into five baskets. How many mangoes will each basket have? Choices. A. 425. B. 625. C. 725. D. 815. Discussion. Dividing the total number by the number of baskets ensures even distribution, a useful strategy for packing goods. Solution. 3,125 divided by 5 is equal to 625. Answer. B. 625. Question 11. Ailing Pranather has 2,760 pieces of Sampragita flowers. She plans to divide them equally into 12 garlands. How many Sampragita flowers will each garland have? Choices. A. 230. B. 215. C. 240. D. 230. Discussion. By dividing the total flowers, each garland receives an equal portion, which is common in crafting or decoration settings. Solution. 2,760 divided by 12 is equal to 230. Answer. A. 230. Question 12. A bus company needs to divide 4,600 pesos equally among 23 drivers as their daily allowance. How much will each driver receive? Choices. A. 190 pesos. B. 210 pesos. 
C. 200 pesos. D. 250 pesos. Discussion. Dividing the total allowance by the number of drivers gives each driver's daily allowance. Ensuring fair distribution. Solution. 4,600 divided by 23 is equal to 200. Answer. C. 200 pesos. Question 13. Mang Pedro harvested 1,675 coconuts from his farm. He wants to pack them into bags, with each bag holding 25 coconuts. About how many bags will he need to pack all the coconuts? Choices. A. 50 bags. B. 60 bags. C. 70 bags. D. 80 bags. Discussion. Dividing the total by the bag capacity provides the required bags. Rounding up ensures he has enough bags for all coconuts. Solution. 1,675 divided by 25 is equal to 67. Round up to 70. Answer. C. 70 bags. Question 14. A local school received 3,240 notebooks to distribute among 35 classrooms. Approximately how many notebooks will each classroom get if they are equally divided? Choices. A. 70 notebooks. B. 80 notebooks. C. 90 notebooks. D. 100 notebooks. Discussion. Dividing notebooks by classrooms gives an approximate count per room. Rounding provides an estimate suited for practical classroom use. Solution. 3,240 divided by 35 is equal to 92.57. Round to 90. Answer. C. 90 notebooks. Question 15. A factory in Laguna produced 9,840 pieces of toys in a month. If the factory plans to ship these toys to 12 different stores, about how many toys will each store receive? Choices. A. 800 toys. B. 900 toys. C. 1,000 toys. D. 1,100 toys. Discussion. Dividing the total toys by stores gives an average per store, ensuring an even distribution across locations. Solution. 9,840 divided by 12 is equal to 820, approximate as 800. Answer. A. 800 toys. Question 16. Mang Jose has a small rice field where he harvested 1,250 sacks of rice in a month. He plans to divide the rice equally among 25 families in his barangay. How many sacks of rice will each family receive? Choices. A. 50 sacks. B. 40 sacks. C. 60 sacks. D. 45 sacks. Discussion. Dividing the harvest by the families provides the quantity each family receives, ensuring equal sharing within the community. Solution. 1,250 divided by 25 is equal to 50. Answer. A. 50 sacks. Question 17. A jeepney in Manila can carry 14 passengers in one trip. If a jeepney makes 12 trips per day, how many passengers does the jeepney transport in total? Choices. A. 160 passengers. B. 154 passengers. C. 168 passengers. D. 172 passengers. Discussion. Multiplying passengers per trip by trips per day provides the total passengers transported, which is useful for transportation capacity planning. Solution. 14 times 12 is equal to 168. Answer. C. 168 passengers. Question 18. The Barangay is planning to build a new community centre. The total budget for the project is 450,000 pesos. If the cost per construction material is 25,000 pesos, how many materials can they buy? Choices. A. 16 materials. B. 18 materials. C. 19 materials. D. 17 materials. Discussion. 
Dividing the total budget by the cost per material tells us how many materials can be purchased, ensuring effective budget use. Solution 450,000 divided by 25,000 is equal to 18. Answer B. 18 materials. Question 19. Manghuarn harvested 156 mangoes and placed them in four baskets. Each basket had the same number of mangoes. If Manghuarn sold two baskets of mangoes, how many mangoes were left unsold? Choices. A. 78. B. 39. C. 156. D. 234. Discussion. Calculating mangoes per basket and then subtracting the sold baskets provides the number left, which is useful for inventory. Solution. 1. Mangoes per basket. 156 divided by 4 is equal to 39. 2. Mangoes in two sold baskets. 39 times 2 is equal to 78. 3. Mangoes left unsold. 156 78 equals 78. Answer. Hey, 78. Question 20. A school needs 320 new chairs for their classrooms. If each chair costs 450 pesos and they only have a budget of 100,000 pesos, how many more pesos do they need to buy all the chairs? Choices. A. 44,000 pesos. B. 10,000 pesos. C. 16,000 pesos. D. 36,000 pesos. Discussion. By calculating the total required amount and subtracting the budget, we find the shortfall, useful for budget adjustments. Solution. 4. Total cost for 320 chairs, 320,450 is equal to 144,000. Answer. Hey, 44,000 pesos. And that wraps up our discussion and solutions for the second periodical test in Math for Grade 4. I hope this video made things a bit clearer and helped boost your confidence for your next test. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends or fellow teachers, and don't forget to subscribe for more free resources and study guides. At Teachers Free, we're here to make learning accessible and fun for everyone. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Keep learning, keep growing. And as always, happy studying.